Unit 12, Technology. Reading 1, Extract 1, Stem Cell Transplant. A stem cell transplant is used to increase the chance of a cure or remission for a number of cancers and blood disorders. It usually involves intense chemotherapy followed by an infusion of stem cells. The treatment requires close nursing and medical care for a number of weeks. It can be a grueling treatment and there are risks. Your specialist can advise when the likely benefits of this procedure can outweigh the risks. Vocabulary 1. Number 1. Stem cell. Stem cells are mother cells that have the potential to become any type of cell in the body. Number 2. Remission. A diminution of the seriousness or intensity of disease or pain. Number 3. Chemotherapy. The treatment of disease, especially cancer, by the use of chemical substances. Number 4. Infusion. To introduce a solution into the body through a vein for therapeutic purposes. Number 5. Grueling. Spent many laborious hours on the project. Outweigh. Be greater or more significant than. What is a stem cell transplant? A stem cell transplant may be used so that you can have intensive, high-dose chemotherapy and sometimes radiotherapy to kill cancerous cells. The chemotherapy is higher than conventional chemotherapy and also kills the stem cell and the bone marrow that would normally make blood cells. Therefore, following the chemotherapy, you are given back transplanted stem cells, which can then make normal blood cells again. A stem cell transplant is sometimes called a bone marrow transplant. However, stem cells can be obtained from blood as well as from the bone marrow. So the term stem cell transplant is now used. Vocabulary 2. Number 1. Radiotherapy. The treatment of disease, especially cancer, by exposure to a radioactive substance. Number 2. Conventional. Based upon tradition. Number 3. Bone marrow. The fatty network of connective tissue that fills the cavities of bones. Reading 3. Extract 2. Stem cell research is a subject almost guaranteed to prompt mixed reactions. As if to illustrate that fact, high-profile Scottish stem cell trials were announced this week to very different responses. While one was branded immoral and unethical by critics, the other was warmly welcomed as offering a potential cure for some types of blindness. The difference is that the former, a trial in Glasgow to insert stem cells into the brains of stroke victims, relies on stem cells harvested from human embryos, which must be destroyed to enable the beginning of a cell line. Vocabulary 3. Number 1. Guaranteed. Provide a formal assurance or promise. Number 2. High profile. Attracting much attention or publicity. Number 3. Trials. A formal examination of evidence by judge. Number 4. Branded. A trademark or distinctive name identifying a product. Number 5. Potential. Having possibility, capability, or power. Number 6. Insert. To put in or between. Introduce. Number 7. Relies. To place or have faith or confidence. Number 8. Embryos. An organism in its early stages of development. Reading 4. Edinburgh uses stem cells from voluntary adult donors, harvested after their death to treat corneal blindness. It is the use of voluntary adult donors that make all the difference to those with moral and ethical objections to stem cell therapy. Asked if he had encountered any opposition, Professor Dillon is unequivocal. No. Because we are using tissue that's been generously donated by adult donors after death, those issues don't arise with this type of research. I think the term stem cell has become rather emotive and that it's linked with a number of images and issues, both ethical and moral, associated with the use of fetuses, and this trail is not using fetal stem cells. But I think it's important for clinicians, scientists, and the public to have an open debate. Vocabulary 4. Number 1. Corneal. Of or related to the cornea. Number 2. Unequivocal. Clear and unambiguous. Number 3. Emotive. Of or relating to emotion. 
Number four, fetuses. A human embryo starts to be called a fetus at nine weeks. Reading five, extract three. The specific factors and conditions that allow stem cells to remain unspecialized are of great interest to scientists. It has taken scientists many years of trial and error to learn to grow stem cells in the laboratory without them spontaneously differentiating into specific cell types. For example, it took 20 years to learn how to grow human embryonic stem cells in the laboratory following the development of conditions for growing mouse stem cells. Therefore, an important area of research is understanding the signal in a mature organism that cause a stem cell population to proliferate and remain unspecialized until the cells are needed for repair of a specific tissue. Such information is critical for scientists to be able to grow numbers of unspecialized stem cells in the laboratory for further experimentation. Vocabulary 5. Number 1. Spontaneously. Self-generated. Number 2. Differentiating. To become distinct or specialized. Acquire a different character. Number 3. Organism. An individual form of life such as a plant, animal, bacterium. Number 4. Proliferate. To increase or spread at a rapid rate.